my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're new here, my name is Melanie K. Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. So make sure you join our beautiful MK Love fam. Now this week, in terms of weekly angel guidance, we have three faces of the moon. We have five planets in retrograde and we're just about to begin the next part of our eclipse season. It's kind of a big deal. So this week is from July the 15th until the 21st. So we're going to be starting out the week in the waxing gibbous moon. This is when we trust the process. Now your affirmation for this phase of the moon cycle is, I am so happy and grateful now that all will be revealed in divine time. I surrender to the process and I set myself free. Okay, then, are you ready for it? We have the full moon. Now this isn't any type of full moon. This is a full moon on steroids. I'll tell you why. This is a full moon in 24 degrees of Capricorn and it's also a partial lunar eclipse. Eclipse is a time where things end and things start brand new. It's like a, a rebirth. It's a brand new transformation. It's a massive journey that we're on and I'll talk more about the astrological influences later. So your affirmation for this is, I am so happy and grateful for this magical supercharged energy that's now illuminating the night sky. I release my wishes and worries and celebrate how far I have already come because it's kind of a big deal. All right, now the time in which this full moon um, lunar eclipse is going to happen for you is, check on the screen right now. So if you are, so this is Tuesday the 16th of July. So this is 2.38 p.m. Pacific time, 5.38 p.m. Eastern time, 10.38 p.m. British Standard time. On Wednesday the 17th of July, this is 3.08 Indian Standard time. This is 7.38 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard time and 9.38 a.m. New Zealand Standard time. Now, before I go on, I just wanted to read you um, an extract that I found from astrologyking.com. It's where I get most of my information from. He talks about in his um, horoscope for this that this is going to be a very emotional time. As you know, full moons is a time to release things that don't serve you. Release as in like things that don't serve you or things that you're trying to birth into the world, however that looks like for you in your life. It's a very emotional time. So what he has written on his website, he said the lunar eclipse July 2019 astrology is powerful and confrontational because of the close conjunction to Pluto. Intense emotional reactions, compulsive behavior and power struggles, struggles are likely to result in a crisis. When I read that, I was like, what the flip? Then he goes on to say that the lunar eclipse um, is also a square to the dwarf planet Eris which will energize the Me Too movement. It will strengthen the feminist attack on the patriarchal authority. Other planetary aspects and fixed stars point to scandal, intrigue, public disgrace, and destroyed reputations, but they also give hope and empathy and understanding that will lead to lasting change. Now, this transit that we're having right now with Eris takes 550 558 years to orbit. So this is a once in a lifetime powerful movement that we're going through. And it kind of links in with the astrological influences, which I'll talk more later. Okay, and then if I just scroll back. Okay, so then this full moon is gonna be with us for basically for the next six months. So yes, I'm reading and saying, oh yeah, this is only from like Tuesday to Saturday, blah, blah, blah. This is because we move through eight phases within the, the moon cycle. This is with us for six months. So it's, do you understand the importance of how powerful this supercharged energy is right now? Then for Sunday, we move into the disseminating moon. So your affirmation for this time is, I am so happy and grateful for all the blessings in my life. I give and receive abundance from a place of love. As you can see, the full moon is a massive focus for this week. Now, in terms of astrological influences, we have five planets in retrograde. Okay, we've got Jupiter retrograde, which is a time of philosophical and introspection. It basically is to do with your relationships, 
personal and basically um, your romantic relationships. That's here until August the 11th. We have Pluto retrograde, which is massive transformation, which totally fits in with what's going on right now. Um, that can bring up a lot of fears and anxieties. And this is here until October the 3rd. We have the Saturn retrograde, which is the Lord of Karma. It's actually a double dose of Karma. Now the re lessons relate to your thoughts and your words. So this is the law of attraction at play. So if you have been doing the right thing in terms of you know, your sole purpose, where you're meant to be in life and everything feels fine, you're gonna manifest something really fabulous. But if not, things are gonna turn to shit. And maybe this is gonna flare up for you during this time. Now the Saturn retrograde is here until September the 18th. We also have Neptune retrograde until November the 27th. This one I feel pairs perfectly with what's going on with this full moon lunar eclipse. So this is about delusions and deceptions are revealed, which brings up disappointment. So channel your inspiration and enthusiasm into hard work to manifest your dream. We also have Mercury in retrograde until August. Mercury is a planet that rules communication, travel, and electronics. It's a time where Basically, all of the retrogrades is a time where things are slowing down and you can see the things in which you have missed. As you know, we've got the North Node in Cancer, which is a very, which is a very nurturing time for yourself as you're preparing for the next 20 to 30 years. This is huge. Like what we're going through now, like the fact that this planet Eris, is it a planet? No, he's not an Eris. It must be in a constellation. I'm not sure. Have a look at astrologyking.com slash the lunar eclipse July and you'll see all, all of his research resources. Jamie Partridge, he's amazing. The fact that this is a once in a lifetime, like it takes 558 years to orbit, what is gonna be coming up for us? So that's kind of the weekly overview <laughs> with the moon phases and the astrological influences. Let's see what our angels want us to know in terms of tarot. <laughs> This is the Shadowscapes Tarot. Now this is going to be a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. If you're new to the fam, then make sure you hit subscribe. Become one of our beautiful MK Love fam. And um, right, you ready for it? The focus card for the week actually is the Hermit, which is crazy because in terms of the moon, the moon is the most illuminated during this time. But it's interesting that we've got the Hermit, which is a time, I think it was like the Saturn retrograde, the time of philosophical and spiritual introspection. Ooh, okay. In terms of healing yourself. Okay, well, that makes sense. The Hermit is really just like spending time with yourself, figuring out what do you need to do to change because you know how we said our intention like two weeks ago, and we're like, this is what we want to manifest for the next six months, because when we get to the end of 2019, this is what we need to have achieved. Those different chapters that are bringing us closer to our dream life. And it's all about healing. We're going through this massive transformation and it can be so uncomfortable. But you know that song from Jesse J, go easy on me, go easy on me, on me. All right, let's see what we need to know for Monday. <clears throat> I'm feeling a throat chakra. I've been feeling that quite a lot with these readings. There we go, there's our card for Monday. Ooh, oh, I can't believe this. <sighs> that is incredible. If only you could see this, but this card, when I was shuffling, this card is the only card that's ever happened when I've been shuffling that has folded the corner and like none of my cards have got any creases on them. You know, they're in perfect order. Like I take really good care of them. But this card, when I was shuffling, somehow got creased. And it's interesting that this card is the five of cups. This is like you're looking at, you know, the glass. Are you looking at it half full or half empty? You know, she's ready to move on. What are we at? Trusting the process as everything's working out for us. Trusting the process. And she's like, you know, I know I have to, I have to leave this chapter. This chapter that I'm currently on. I feel like you've already left a chapter. I feel like as you're starting something new, because we had the fool last week as our card, and the one before that was the world. So I kind of feel like as you're beginning something new, it's like, yeah, you can't bring all your baggage into this new chapter. You have to leave it at the door. 
or you need to I feel like you have to leave it at the door. You know, people are always going to come with baggage, but you always have to be, you need to have that awareness to know that it's not affecting your reality. Everyone comes with baggage, but it's how you deal with it. Are you saying, I'm so happy and grateful for everything that I have been through? Or are you saying like, I'm never going to love again. I'm never going to get another job. I'm never going to find that right car or that right partner or that right client or blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut up. You know, you have to trust the process. If you're thinking all of those thoughts, you are manifesting them into your reality. It's as simple as that. You need to, I feel like this is like komari your, you know, the KonMari method in terms of like your relationships and where you're at. The glass is half full, well, let's be real, but some of you may be looking at it as half empty. But this is also that some of you have even gotten to a stage where you want to let go, but it's like, as you're going through that stage, you're like, this hurts. And yeah, it's okay if it hurts. But what's beautiful is that you can just be like, I know it takes like 20 seconds of immense courage and I can get through this. What does this look like for you? That's Monday. So Tuesday, we have the full moon, 24 degrees of Capricorn, which is a partial lunar eclipse. Tuesday, the flipping world again. We've had this for three weeks. Well, that's solidified everything, hasn't it? The full moon, we're beginning something new. No, not the full moon. What did I say? Yeah, the full moon, we're beginning something new. We got the world card. This is card number 78 in this whole de deck of tarot cards. This is a completion. You're finishing something. Interesting that Monday was like letting things go, however that looks like for you, allow, getting that emotional baggage and just leaving at the door. Yeah, so it doesn't affect you in your new chapter. Don't bring any of that toxic shit into your, into your next chapter. Or if you keep rereading the same pages of the old chapter, you're never gonna make any progress. So you have to like make peace with it and know that this is the end, it's finished. And it served you and it, ser and it had a beautiful time. You had a lovely time in this chapter, but it doesn't serve where you're going because you're evolving and you're leveling up and you're becoming this new fabulous high vibrational soul. You're returning back to who you always were, but that true essence of who you were birthed into this world to be. Well, that's fitting, isn't it? The lunar eclipse, we're ending something. We're ending some a massive, massive chapter, right? Wednesday, we have the Ace of Wands and the Sun. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow, come what may. Tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. Okay, Ace of Wands, interesting. The Ace of Wands is the beginning of something in you. I love how all of these cards fit in week after week after week. Like you can't rig this stuff. The Ace of Wands is, is like this new fire. It's like fire energy basically. But can you see like the leaves are all dead? So you've gone through the winter, you've got spring because you've got these beautiful like mushrooms growing and you have these three foxes around, they're like protection, but it's also like knowing, I just keep going back to courage. I think I keep going back to last week when we had the full, like the courage to start something new. Oh, and then also we had the sun on top of that. So how does that fit together? Knowing that you're headed towards what you need to, you've gone through the darkness. Didn't I tell you, oh my God, didn't I tell you a couple of weeks ago, we had the moon card. Was it last week or the week before? I'm not sure. The moon card, which was healing the darkness, taking the mask off, putting it on the wall and say, I love you, thank you so much, but you're not, you don't serve me in this new chapter. And remember they had the heart on the hand and it's like making all decisions from a place of love. And I said to you, the next card after that is the sun. And we got the sun. You've been through the darkness. You're healing the darkness. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. This is what you've been looking for for such a long time. You're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is kind of like your the green lights when you're at the traffic when you're at the traffic lights. The green light at the tra traffic lights. Yeah, it just sounds weird when I said that out loud. <laughs> but this is like the go, the go time. You know, you've got that permission. 
how are you healing this? I feel like this is emotional release and releasing the emotional baggage, the emotional pain that you've been holding on to. Maybe it has manifested in terms of illness and disease within your life. Recently, I found out that my grandmother had breast cancer and then she got one breast taken off and I was like, oh my God, do you know that there's an alternative? There's CBD oil, there's a whole foods, plant-based diet, there's meditation, there's hypnosis, there's earthing, everything. Don't allow fear to dictate you. And now you're seeing through this introspection, because this is the hermit time, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. That's a kind of big deal because since April, we've been in like, we've been in the darkness and it hasn't been pretty, but it's been difficult. And, but it's what exactly we needed. Wow. Okay. Uh, Thursday, please, angels. There it is. Thursday, the emperor. Ooh, that's strong masculine energy. Ooh, oh God. Didn't I say something about like, so this Eris, this dwarf planet Eris, he's a planet, um, will energize the Me Too movement. It will strengthen the feminist attack on patriarchal authority. Holy shit, does that feel like this? matches with that healing the, the masculine the patriarchal oh my god this week is huge healing this i'm going to get clarity on that card because that there's a lot of different variations you could say for that there it is the nine of wands this is reserve you're not like moving guns blazing you're kind of like got your strength in reserve let's get more that one is really interesting i think because i read that it will strengthen the feminist attack i think attack is the wrong word on the patriarchal authority other planets aspects in this fixed star point to scandal intrigue public disgrace and destroyed reputations Holy shit. Clarity on the Emperor and the Nine of Wands, please, for Thursday. There it is. The King of Wands. We're getting such masculine energy on that day. What is going to happen in the world? Or what is going to start to unfold? King of Wands is getting to the end of your passion project. So, like, oh, far out. That's, that could be huge in terms of how that's going to manifest in the world, in terms of our society. And the, what is coming up for you as you're going through that? I feel like that is huge. A huge day. Well, okay. Um, where am I on to? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Friday is still, there it is. It's all flipping over. We got lots of cards. Friday is a great day. Wow. Friday, we have the Eight of Wands, was just using your words. So, speaking into existence what you want. What do you want to manifest for change in this world? And it's also a celebration. We've got the Four of Wands, but that's a huge card. And then we've got the Eight of Cups, is what we've had for like the last two or three weeks, working out what you actually want and going for it. Thursday, I'm a little worried about how that's going to manifest. It's such a masculine energy. And after I read about that Eris or Iris, I don't know how to say it. E-R-I-S, Iris. It's powerful and confrontational because of its close conjunction to Pluto. I feel like that's on Thursday very masculine energy and then it kind of lightens on Friday. Eight of Wands is a celebration. So what do you actually want? How do you want your life to look? I feel like this is more societal. Societal, is that even a word? All right, let's look at Saturday. There it is. Ooh, the Hierophant, the giver of knowledge. Let me just go to Sunday and then I'll piece it all together. Sunday, please, angels. Sunday, last card of the week. There it is. Ooh, it's quite a number of... I'm going to get the first card, okay? The 
five of wands, which is all about contrast. And I need to pull this one here. The six of pentacles. We've had that like for three flipping weeks. And now I have a massive throbbing headache. Let me just check on uh, Louise L. Hayes' guide. Invalidating the self, self-criticism and fear. Holy heck. Invalidating the self. What does that mean in terms of this? Invalid? Self-criticism. So I feel like if you're going to speak up, you could, things could become like, people could like lash out at you, but you need to, you have to speak your truth. We've we finish this chapter, you're not going to be holding back. You can't be keep going back to Monday in the Five of Cups. You can't be taking what has happened in the past, that emotional baggage. You can't bring it into the next chapter. It's going to manifest illness and disease within your body long term. The world, things are changing. The Ace of Wands starting something new. The sun is coming out. You can finally see the. You're out of the darkness. How are you out of the darkness? You're making a stand. There's such a stand. Maybe some of you are channeling the masculine energy. Maybe some of you are, are not being like this quiet woman, you know, that's only to be seen and not heard. Maybe you're actually, maybe this emperor is you and you're channeling that masculine energy and you're saying, you know, that shit doesn't fly with me. Maybe some of you are doing that. Holy heck. The nine of wands, but you're kind of like in reserve. That's what the, it's so interesting. The nine of wands is being reserved. You know, you're on your, whatever it is, line, but you're sitting, but you're ready to move whenever you need to. So, you know, someone says lights, camera, action, you're ready for it. And then you've got the king of wands is that you've been through it all and you're, you're at a stage where you're like, Rawr! like have a look at the king of wands there's all of i've never noticed this before there's all of these lions around he's got a line on his stave is that what you call it there's a line at the front there's one two three four lion's heads that i can see four is that stability channeling that inner roar like the lyrics from Raw from Katy Perry, you're going to see me roar. I'm going to pull the blind off because this is who I'm meant to be. And I'm not going to pretend to be this quiet, innocent girl anymore. Like things are changing. And then as we go into Friday, we've got the eight of wands. You're speaking what you want into the into existence and you're celebrating that you actually took a stand. You stood up for yourself. Oh, this is where it is. You stood, you stood up for yourself. And you're like, you know, this is the direction which I need to go. I need to speak my truth. I need to tell people my story because it's going to help so many other people. I need to speak my truth. The Hierophant, we didn't spend much time of that. The Hierophant, the giver of knowledge, the wisdom. That could be you spreading your wisdom and your joy with other people, helping other people out that maybe were in the same situation as you. And then the Five of Wands is a... I was going to swear then, whatever the contrast is that's coming up, you're like, whatever, bring it on. I don't care. I have nothing to lose. And then you've got the six of pentacles. So this kind of is interesting because this is the cycles of life. Everything is interconnected. You've got this beautiful tree that's down below that has just grown out of the darkness. Think of it as like you turn your pain into greatness and you're just soaring. I just want another card for Sunday just to have, just to finish that off properly. There it is. Thank you very much. The strength card, that makes sense. So that lion, you're channeling that inner lion. You're telling your story. You're not gonna be quiet anymore. You're not gonna tolerate all of this shit anymore. You're channeling the masculine energy to make things right in the world, in your life, in your career, in your relationships, in your job. Job and career are the same. Whatever it is, you are you're breaking the mold, but this is a time where you really need to pay particular attention to your vibration. You really need to look after yourself, journaling all your pain out. Literally, I have a full moon ritual um, on my YouTube channel. I've got one linked on my Instagram, on my IGTV. Please, you need to, you, you're gonna have a lot of courage this week. A lot of courage. Oh my God. The Hierophant is intriguing because I'm like, is the Hierophant you? You sharing your your wisdom with other people or are you learning the wisdom? Maybe, I kind of feel like it's you. I kind of feel like it's you sharing your wisdom with other people. 
and then you're like going through the contrast and you know that everything that you're going through is divinely orchestrated and that you're this little weed from the six of pentacles growing through all this dirt and you've become this beautiful plant you know when you go walking and on the sidewalks you see like a plant growing out of the cement that's you you've made peace with your pain you're like i'm unstoppable i'm i'm just the lion i'm channeling that inner strength and i'm like going through everything and I know that I'm going to come out the right side and yes it's painful and yes it's so uncomfortable and yes it's going to require a lot of inner strength a lot of inner strength but you have the courage and you have the power and you have the confidence and you have all the astrology behind you going darling it's time it's go time whoa what a powerful week ah, I just have goosebumps like I'm very excited for you but I'm also like sending my angels to you this week because I know you're going to need it if you need extra help as you're navigating this time, please check out my free exclusive training. I teach you how I have been able to heal my childhood trauma. You know, I went through, I broke the cycle of abuse in my own family so that one day when I have, well, I have my own family, I have my beautiful husband, but one day when we have children, I'm going to teach them the strategies and tools so that they don't have to grow up and deal with all of this shit, you know? I will have broken the cycle of abuse, so I don't bring that on to them. And when they, they grow up, I just teach them how to love themselves, how to nurture themselves. And when things go wrong, these are the strategies and tools that will help bring you back into alignment. I teach them, you know, in my program, I teach three key components, how to reprogram the subconscious, how to realign the seven chakras, no, how to rebalance the seven chakras, and how to realign the body, the mind, and soul. That's the secret ingredient. Most of it is in here because 95% of your thoughts are uh, from your subconscious. So that means 5% of your day you're living through your subconscious. So if you want those thoughts to be positive, you have to program them. Otherwise, your life's going to turn to shit. <sighs> Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. If you join me on the live chat, thank you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate all of the beautiful... I was going to say camaraderie. I don't think that's the right word. I, I, I appreciate the community. Like, I love that you jump on. And I'd love that some of you message me and be like, Mel, I'm not going to be able to make weekly angel guidance this week. I just want to let you know I'm not going to be on the live chat. Like, Elodie said that to me a couple of weeks ago. I'm like, oh, my God, that is so beautiful and so thoughtful. Because I know she's always there right on time. So if you are watching the replay, oh, my gosh, comment down below. Let me know what came up for you. And then next week before the live chat, I'll give you a little heart to let you know that I have read your comment. Thanks so much for watching. Oh my God. <sighs> Take it easy on yourself. This is a time of deep introspection. You can do this. You're ready. You know, you've got the, the light is here. You're ready. Have an amazing day. And I will see you next episode. Oh my God, I wonder what's in store. And I'll talk to you then. I love you so much.